Uh huh. Yep. Happy? Yeah. Well, of course. I got a new action figure. That always makes me happy. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Wave 2, Legends Build-A-Figure Mantis. Don't ask me to say that again. Now, it's so weird starting out like this because it's not a package shot. It's already out. It's loose. I'm about to put it together. It's like trying to start your car in gear. I'm sitting here trying to figure out where do I go from here. So, <laughs> here's some Mantis parts. They're all split apart. I'm about to put them together. But first, here's the back of the package. You can see which parts come with which character. Death's Head 2 didn't include a Build-A-Figure piece. So if you're one of those that buy the movie figures and not the comic figures, you can skip on Death's Head 2. But you'll have to buy Ex Nihilo and Adam Warlock to get the Manus parts. Or wait for eBay. Or go to Doorside Toys where he is selling the complete Build-A-Figure separate from all the figures. But we have the body. We have the arms. Should just pop right in. It's not popping right in. It's gonna pop right in. And it's interesting looking at the hip balls uh, because it's not in the socket yet, but it's not a smooth ball. It's actually like a disco ball. It has flat faces on it. I guess that's to help with the articulation. Maybe it keeps it from free flowing. Free flowing. I don't know. I'm not an action figure engineer, so it's all Greek to me. Okay, both with the arm and the leg, I've had to use quite a bit of force, more than I thought I would, which is not a bad thing. That just means the parts are going to stay on, hopefully. And then the head. Pop. 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 And there she is, all built. And she continues the trend of awesome females in this wave. Great sculpt. Great paint, just great presence in a display, a diorama, your shelf, whatever. But looking at the sculpting, of course, it's a movie figure. It has its own dedicated individual sculpt because their costumes are just so intricate. And that's what we have here. Her costume is nicely detailed all the way down. She has this kind of tear pattern. It's not even a tear. It's like a symmetrical tear pattern down the pants, down the side of her skirt piece thing. Her boots are really, really nice. And then her head, her face, her hair, it's just fantastically done. The likeness is absolutely there. And then coming around to the paint, I love the metallic green on this. It sticks out, it stands out, especially against the dullness of the black. Most of the flesh tone is the plastic, and it is a little plain, but I think with the character's alien origins, it kind of works. It kind of works as that she's almost too clean. She's almost too flawless. So that works into that a little bit. And then the paint on the face, the eyebrows are nice. The mostly blacked out eyes works really well for this character. And then the pinkness of the lips. Now her antenna are soft. And it, that also goes into the whole, it's only molded in the one color. There's no paint apps to bring out any detail on the skin. But the skin is so smooth, I don't think it would have really helped any. But looking at the shoulders, they do have kind of that plasticky shininess to them. The hands and the face, not so much. It's more like a skin tone. It doesn't really have that sheen to it. Oh man, I can't say enough good things about the face, the likeness. It, the eyes give you that alien creepiness that she kind of had in the movie while adding to the cuteness level, if that makes any sense. Creepy and cute. I, yeah, it's kind of weird. But if I did have one complaint, it would be the complaint I have with most female characters, and it's their small bases. Small feet, very little surface area to stand on. Got to kind of widget with the bottom. You got to fidget here. You got to move here. You got to adjust there. And, I, of course, the articulation in the ankles, it has the detents in it. They're kind of tough. And if you go pulling, you can see the swivel at the boot kind of wants to pull apart. And I, I'm not worried, but the first couple of times I did it, there's a thinness there that I, I'm almost afraid I'll break that peg right there. I haven't had a problem. You can see me articulating it right now. The left one, not as loose, so there is some tug there. So I'd probably grab it by the top of the boot, articulate where you want to go and then be done with it. But for articulation, she's got a ball on top of a hinge. The hair does kind of get in the way. It's a little bit rubbery, so it's soft. That's about down, up. Nice tilt, and which is good because, again, her character in the movie has a lot of, you know, 
bewildered looks. So that works perfectly with that. And then of course their swivel. Hinge and swivel in the shoulder comes up past 90. There's a swivel at the bicep, nicely hidden by the kind of glove sleeve thing here. But it's kind of useless because you get down to the elbow and it's swivel too. So kind of spinning meat there. But I did just realize the elbow was spun in a different direction than the up lower upper arm. Does that make sense? You have that kind of split pattern right there. And in the pictures, it may be wrong. But on the back of the box, it shows this being to the outside. And what it originally was set up like was the elbow was spun around this way, the hand was spun this way, which does look right until you start looking for this pattern right here, and it's on the inside. You spin at the elbow, you bring it around, and you actually get 90 out of the elbow too. The other way, you only got this far. Imagine that to the front. But with it the right way, you get pretty much 90. Hinge and swivel in the wrist, got hinge, got swivel. Ball joint in the torso, not a lot of forward, pretty good arc back. Some side, some side, then there's swivel. Hinge and swivel in the hip, comes up, not quite 90. Out about 45, back, not bad. Skirt kind of gets in the way. Got a swivel at the thigh, got a double knee, it goes completely up. I mean, she's kicking her own ass right there. Got swivel at the boot, hinge at the ankle, and then because of the heel, the rocker ankle action is only half works. It gives you more of a swivel, but a little bit of rocker, not terrible. For comparison, here she is with the other two ladies from this wave, and this works perfectly. All three females, oh, so, so beautiful. I can't believe how good these came out. So at the end of the day, this is a perfectly fine addition to the movie shelf. It looks great, it's painted great, it looks like the character from the movie. I couldn't ask for anything more. Now, I know some people have gotten kind of upset that the movie figure is the Build-A-Figure for this wave, but the wave is kind of dominated by movie figures. And we've had mixed waves for a long time, and people have always complained about having to buy movie figures to get their comic Build-A-Figure. This is just reversed. It's catching the movie crowd instead of the comic crowd. I don't see the big deal here. Plus, if you're a movie fan and you want the Build-A-Figure, you're going to buy most of this wave anyway. I mean, yeah, three comic characters, which benefits the comic crowd because they only have to buy the three figures done onto the next wave. Yeah, this is what it feels like to be the comic fans for the past, how long? Five, ten years? Having to buy figures they don't want to get their Build-A-Figure. They do the waves like this to appease both crowds. Yeah, you're never gonna be completely happy with the whole wave, but Hasbro's happy because you're buying figures that you may not need. And I'm not saying that's some malicious ploy, I'm just saying that's business, guys. That's how it works. There's a reason that we've been seeing more and more waves a year, and it's because this works. So, yeah, there we go. But back to Manus, I'm not quite sure what her right hand is doing. She's kind of doing that finger gun thing. I need to see the movie a couple more times before it's cemented in my brain. So she may have done this in the movie, but I don't remember it. So it's kind of weird at the moment. But really, I couldn't be happier. This works great. I'm, I'm perfectly happy here. So if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foolish.